What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're going to learn how to create or how to add a support ticket system or maybe a help desk system into your WordPress website for free. So imagine the following scenario, you do offer some service, some programs, some software and you need to offer support for your clients, for your customers. How to concentrate this support into a ticket system directly onto your WordPress website for free. This is what you're gonna learn in this video. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps us. After this, go to WordPress dashboard to access this dashboard. On your browser address bar, enter with your domain plus WP admin, enter with your login credentials and you're gonna be able to see a page just like this one or almost like this one. Review the left sidebar of menus, hover mouse over plugins and hit the submenu add plugin. Into the upper right corner of your screen there is a field called search plugin, click and type support Genix, okay just like this. Here is the guy that we're looking for. Help desk and customer support ticket system. Click on this town now. Click into the activate button. As soon as you click into the activate button, the plugin gonna redirect you to a plugin welcome page. A pop-up may, may appear trying to sell you the pro version. You can close the pop-up and some page is gonna be created automatically on your site. But let's start the welcome setup, okay? So here is the description of the plugin. We can click into this blue button, continue setup. Create categories. Example, category one, two, three. You can add more categories in the case that you need, okay? All up to your needs. For example, a category can be a product, okay? For example, imagine that you sell a WordPress theme, a WordPress plugin, and a template on your site. The category one can be your theme, the category two, your plugin, the category three, your, your theme, so your template, or maybe, the category one gonna be your software number one, the program number two, and the template number three, okay? So this is just numbers, you can organize this into the way that you need. Let's save and continue. So they are gonna try to sell you the pro version. There's nothing to worry about it right here, okay? So let's keep all for free. There is a list of the things that free version does and the pro version does. Let's get started. or you can click on skip to keep things for free. Congratulations, let's go to tickets. And right here, you're gonna be able to see all the tickets that appears on your site. But, of course, we need to configure all the things. So, let's focus into the settings. We can enter a logo type in the case that you need. I recommend that you enter a site logo into general. You can let people enclose files into your the conversation of the ticket. We have some security options. For example, apply a CAPTCHA. This is really important to keep things secure. We can change the user rules. We can customize the categories in the case that you need. We can assign rules. You can customize the email notifications. The email notifications is really good because if your support agent helps or reply a ticket, the customer is gonna receive an email about it. We can change the saved replies. There is custom field, email to ticket, web hooks, and other integrations that are only on Pro. Okay? So Let's keep things for free and skip this part. Now, how to make this work? It's a quite simple, okay? The plugin, it, it has generated some pages on your site. So go to WordPress left sidebar of menus, hover mouse over appearance. In the case that you are using a classic WordPress theme, you can go to menu, or in the case that you are using a um, block WordPress theme, you can go to the customizer panel in order to customize the header and apply the new page to the menu to the menu so what pages would you like to apply the ticket 
Okay. Let's do wall. Let's enter the tickets page on the account. Save changes to make this icon appear into the menu. And here is the tickets front end. Simple, right? It's a really nice system, works great. I'm logged in. If you are not logged into the site and try to access this page, you're gonna be able to see a login page, okay? So you can create an account and log in using the WordPress tools and all into a simple way. Now you can, for example, add a ticket. You can search for user. Of course, you can customize this logo type right here, but the way that it works, it's just like this, okay? Almost like a separated part of your site to offer support for customers. Works great, helps a lot, and helps the customers. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Now, let me just show how the page looks when you are logged out. You need to enter with your login credentials, create a ticket as a guest or register to enter with a new ticket, okay? Simple, right? And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All the best.